it's Queen Ninja, and in today's video, I'll be reacting to the episode 5 of 100, so let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. I'm only really watching this now because Fruits Basket ain't out until 9 o'clock tonight, but I'll be streaming tonight, so, mmm, I'll have to watch it after, but that's okay. Well, he's gonna go on a date with Amelia. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be so weird and awkward. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it's just gonna be so fucking weird. It's, uh, I can't. Nope. <laughs> I'm just gonna drink my soda, yes. I can't imagine how this is gonna go. <laughs> oh god, I can't. I'm so terrified of this. This maybe gonna go out of time and camera. So. Three shows, but see the two shows I'm watching. Technically, three. Because she's at the pool, duh. He's, um... <laughs> mm. Don't ask. It, 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 you don't need to know. You're, you're not that of age yet. You're just a child, so... Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, because we technically saw them at the end of the last episode, and they're not going to uh, attack until the concert's over, so... Ooh.
please tell me it's on a speedo. <laughs> But the thing is, not every guy looks good in speedos. <laughs> it just depends. <laughs> no. Yeah, you can't really be wearing that. Mm-hmm. Which one? <laughs> really, honestly, it would have been worse if they found just Hayato because, I mean, Amelia, yeah, but you know, and you do, you have your hair on, so, hmm, that's the difference. What? Sakura is missing. No, Sakura is missing. Oh, God. That means she did a Yuffie from Code Geass. Okay, so
She's gonna be so mad with you. It, it put the drinks down. Well, of course, it means she's a girl after all. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know about that. Are they going to see her mom's grave? You know, that, that's a really nice thing. What a boob. I might use that. Yeah, we know, we know. So then how do we caught me here? Ain't that a little weird? So then you were there too.
See, look, mm hmm. Ain't that weird, too? And let me guess, he's never shared this with anyone but him now. That's a little creepy, I'm just saying. Um, Amelia. It's destiny. Mm -hmm. That's what she's saying right now. <laughs> See, I like the fact that she put the hat on even though her hair is down. You somebody still get to notice her. <laughs> Ooh, just wait until you talk to Amelia. She gonna kick your ass. Oh. 
I got a bad feeling about this. I got like two minutes left. Something bad's going to happen. Excuse me. Oh! See, I told you. I told you. Told you. Told you. Y'all not gonna be able to make it back. See, if only he had Amelia and Claire with him, he would be fine. But no! The one time. The one fucking time. And of course you end like that. So now I'm not going to know until episode six, okay, next week. Which is kind of bullshit. But... <laughs> I mean, honestly, it's true. If they were both there with him, everything would have been fine. They would have been able to defeat it, and then they would have just gone on to the concert, and everything would have been okay for them. But no. I'm freaking Sakura was like, N -n 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 -n. come with me by yourself. You know, you're not doing anything, right? Right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Technically, you just kind of left your girlfriend, quote unquote, to go with another girl for like, What kind of world is this? What kind of fuckery is that? Because you know that would happen. <laughs> Unless you have a girlfriend who is very, um, clingy, kind of clinging a little, um, overprotective because there are some girlfriends who are fine with their boyfriends or, um, significant others hanging out with someone else and same thing with boyfriends. Same thing, even if you're married as well, but they're like, hey, if they do something, I won't kill them. And they're like, okay, no, 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 we ain't gotta, we ain't gotta do that, we ain't gotta threaten anybody, no, 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 we just all talking. That's it. But it was a good episode. I'm glad that, you know, they also had a connection and a past. So, I mean, this is now what, the second character he technically has had a past with now? And... To know that this girl was also there during this, and we only really got to see, like, a teensy-weensy of it, that, that's cool. But, like, at the same time, because I think when I first watched the opening, and I saw her in the opening and found out who she was, and I was like, isn't it a little weird how he's kind of protecting her, but then there could be some backstory on something? They could have possibly known each other when they were little kids and such, maybe, and then bada boom bada bing, it got answered, and then, mm, Yeah. The, yeah, the full scene, that was funny. The, the, <laughs> it was gay, but it was funny at the same time. Poor Claire. I mean, Claire is just trying her hardest. She just wants to kick his ass, technically kind of see him half naked. You know, I ain't mad at that because, you know, we're girls and we all do that shit. When we see a really nice, good-looking guy, we just want to, like, you're trying, in your mind, you're trying to imagine them half naked or naked. And then you're just like, nope, just, mm -mm, do this. That's it. <laughs> but the fact that he said no. <laughs> he could have did it before he went with Amelia. <laughs> I mean, but you know, she probably would have been lean. Um, you know, he probably, you no, know, she probably would have been really even mad at him if she was late. But no, 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 no. He was. Technically on time. I think she, no, she was the one who was late. She was probably like a minute late or so, but no, she, she still got there and then, you know, took him to the store to go get some clothes and shit. And, mm hmm It was just awkward moments, but it was so cute. But I, I still hate the fact that, like, their date was cut short. I'm thinking, like, this whole episode from the preview, I knew, we, like, Sakura was gonna get some play in this. But I was like, no, 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 no. The whole thing's literally gonna be about Amelia and Hayato going on this date. And then, eventually, when it's time for him to go back to work, then they're gonna leave, and then he's just gonna be thinking about it for the rest of the day. It's gonna be fine. No, you kinda said, fuck the date um, with Amelia. Let's just go ahead and have a date with Sakura right here and now and learn about the backstory, which I'm not mad at. I'm really happy that they decided to do that for her. But at the same time, I'm like, 
She not gonna have a date, like a proper damn date. I mean, you know, Claire now wants to go shopping with Hayato. Hell, I mean, you know, main character and shit. I mean, I know. He's attractive as fuck. I know that too. This is technically a harem as well, in a way. But damn. It's a little it's like it's not a little, it's hella fucked up. Like Imagine that shit in real life. You ditch your girlfriend to go hang out with another girl. And then you promise another girl to go shopping with her. Unless she your sister. <laughs> well, no, hold on, wait, no. If she's your, if it's a sister or if it's like a really, really close friend who you don't really consider anything else but a friend, then that's okay too. I don't, I don't like, yeah. I'd be fine with that. Mm -hmm. I'd be fine with that. I wouldn't be like calling you. Every single hour, and you would have to be have to also accept the fact that if one of my really close guy friends also said, "Hey, I want you to go shopping with me," you gotta accept that. Accept it. If I can accept certain things, you can accept th certain things. There you go. Relationships in a nutshell, guys. Also, communication is the best thing. Other than that. <laughs> That is my reaction to your episode 5 of 100. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Magic Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for the Patreons. And next Thursday for, for everybody else for episode 6. Bye, guys.